everybody, this is K Rider Ignition News, and this week we're going to be doing another comic book figure review. As you guys can see, it's from the Marvel Legends series, The Fantastic Four Mr. Thing, or Ben for short, because it's his real name. And this is a Walgreens exclusive, because you guys can see the little sticker of the Walgreens. Worship the sticker, believe in it. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, um, I'm very happy when I very found out that they're going to come out with this figure, and then I actually saw the old, well, the earlier photos they had. I was so psyched. I was in, in right away when I saw the photos on this because honestly, like I said, they did a really good job. Sorry, I got out of focus. They did a really good job on this figure and I'm very happy I got it. Uh, uh, of course, I told you the price range and where did I get my at the end of the video. But other than that, look, just look at the box itself. The box itself, uh, it's really cool actually. I like how right there you see the thing right there one side and the other side you see them again. Like you see, it's a little cut box, but that's fine. <coughs> Sorry. It pretty much tells you all the info. It tells you about, uh, you know, that he's a pretty strong guy. He's adorable, strong. His skin is like rock. He's one of the Fantastic Four. He's pretty much the strongest character of the Fantastic Four. As each of them have their own quality abilities. His is the when it comes to backbone and strength. But just to, again, just basic information. But out of that, let's get a better look at this BB in the inside. Alright guys, so I want to show you all the accessories it comes with. Um, as you can see, it comes with two different clothes, one hand and one open hand. And uh, the scope and detail on this is really beautiful, really nice. It's just like the hand that's already closed, so it comes with the figure. It's just an extra one because, you know, one is open, one is closed. So if you want to put them closed fist, it comes with one extra. And then another is his, well, open hand. It's cobbler and tar. <laughs> but yeah, and also... His scope of his face, well, because well, he comes with two heads. I love that they did that. They did one just kind of serious, kind of close mouth, and then of course the other one you're gonna see right now. It's gonna be open teeth and mouth, like he's like. <laughs> but yeah, this is really cool. I really do like this. They did a really, really heck of a job, uh, scope wise and paint wise. It's beautiful. It's like a weather paint kind of style to it. And uh, the eyes, wow. I don't know if you guys can see with this light. I don't know if we can move in. But the eye paint, it's really nice. They really went all the way with this figure, so I'm very happy. But yeah, so that's the, all the accessories that comes in this figure line, so. Alright, so let's test the articulation on this figure wise. So um what I can feel and what I get sense early when I was messing around with this is he his he he is a little bulky, me because uh because it's you know brand new and I just opened them. But sort of some of his joints are a little stiff. Again, it could be because it could be well the hand just came off. It could be because of two reasons because the way it was designed is very bulky, it could be because the joints are still new and you know, they are kinda hard. Eventually over time they do loosen up. You know, I say you could use uh, uh, pretty much a hair blower or hot water to loosen them up. But for me, I, I have a, like I said, they're struggling right now. Not only that, the hands are coming off easily. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, uh, another thing, um, he doesn't bend, his arm don't bend all the way. Again, like I said, it's very stiff. Uh, his hands don't bend all the way. Uh, but I'm also kind of afraid, like I feel like it's going to break. Uh, could be just me again, but just to show you. Um... So he does have like a sort of like a joint kind of ball, not really a ball joint, just a joint connected to his body, but out of that, and then the same thing for here. 
and because you know it doesn't come off it has articulation basic and you can bend it forward backwards to the limit um, his head comes off because you can switch really easily but uh, just put it back on so just let's just show you how high it can go because you know you can stop because of his body you can turn it all the way around but you do have difficulty and it does come off if you try to turn all the way around um, I feel like he has a good bow joint here so he does swivel swivel like this I do like that and he does have the oh has that kind of crunching you guys can see it does turn but preferably you shouldn't turn all the way because then you have this weird kind of gap like this the weird cut out of the body just remember that uh, his uh, his feet does his leg pretty much kicks not that bad so he does bend to the kick to the side but again not that high because of the way it's designed uh, he does bend ha huh. bend uh, hold on let's see how hard can he bend like that kind of like bend great so again I don't know if it's mine or it's just but he does technically have two joints so he can bend but I'm af I'm afraid like I feel like I'm gonna break it I can try this side I'll oh, see this side does so it's just the joints I gotta loosen them up but just be careful because you know you could break him so again hot water or hair blower uh, he does have that kind of like swivel swivel kind of ankle, ankle pelvic I love that so you can po posting really cool you know backwards a little bit frontwards just like he's calling time you know but that's just it for that so now let's test uh, let me actually get the his hands will pretty much come off really easily you can switch the hands and we place it with a, you know, just to show you guys. Yeah, so he has two open hands now. Or like he's kill you have him like he's lifting a, a villain or picking up something heavy, you know, just to show him. Just to be posing him or taking photos. That's just really cool. But now let's look at the face because we, like I said, we look at the other face. But now we have to look at this one. I really like this one. I like him because he has more expression in this, in this expression right here. Like, don't get me wrong. I like this one. But this one, for some reason, it, it calls out to me more. I like how he shows his teeth, he's grunting, he's like, Ugh. It just, to me, I really like, I'm really digging this expression. <laughs> but yeah, just to show you. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it. You guys can say. So I guess tell you, where did I get mine? How much did I get it for? Uh, Sally? Uh, I couldn't I couldn't find it at Walgreens. Now again, this is a Walgreens exclusive, so only places you can get this is on Walgreens stores. Oh, at the time, they were selling it on their website. That was sold out less than two hours when the, it went on online. <laughs> That's how crazy it went out. Um, and then people are selling it on, on online, and they're selling it for crazy, crazy overpriced. Uh, I couldn't find mines, you know, at the Walgreens I go to, so. Uh, I uh, I traded with someone online on Facebook uh, and a guy from this person on all the way from uh, Florida I think uh, and here's the funny part I actually eventually went to another Walgreens and I did find him so that means he they are restocking constantly so if you're still trying to look for him don't worry just keep going to your Walgreens they eventually will have him in stock uh, they are retailing for about $19 get it for that price don't get it more for 30 or 40 don't 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 try to you know like I said don't freak out they are they are keep restocking so just you have to wait a bit just wait a bit and eventually I'll probably even put it back on their website to get it um, to sell again online uh, so yeah if you can get it at a, at a con for like 25 or 30 I that's fine but like I'm saying don't get it from online from all those sellers to try overpricing you you know just wait it out <laughs> uh, but yeah it, it's a like I said it's a really cool figure um, uh, like I said, mine's is a little like stiffy, but I don't, but uh, I uh, that's the only complaint I can see, and it's just me because I, I like I said I gotta loosen the joints on this. But other than that, this is such an amazing figure wise, uh, scope wise, paint wise, it's really awesome. Articulation, like I said, it's not bad. It's just a little stiff for me. But other than that, it's an amazing figure. It's a must have. It's a must have if you're a Fantastic Four fan or you're a Marvel Legends fan or you're just collecting. It's a definitely must have. So it's definitely up there. You should definitely get this. It's really awesome. It's up there with my, uh, when it comes to my uh, <laughs> Thanos Wal uh, Walmart exclusive. It's gonna be up there. I'm probably gonna keep it in the box just to, just because it looks really cool in the box, just right next to the other Thanos. 
So I hope you enjoyed this. This is Mr. Bushido signing out at K Rider Ignition News. will be the latest Yoda Kamen Rider Super Sentai anime and also comic book to review and also catch you Tokusai Monsters K Kaiju and also check out Cons in LA area. So keep collecting and adios!